we are on chapter number 5. That is natural resources. We have seen the classification. We have seen the uses of natural resources. Now it's time for the for the conservation of our natural resources. How other poetries use kartehi lahenge? So one point will come that we will be left with nothing. We will be with none of the resources. To conserve that natural resources, it's our duty. It's our duty to save our earth. It's our duty to conserve our nature. It's our responsibility to take care of our natural resources. So students today on page number 29, the topic that is conservation of natural resources. Let's move. Students, we will be starting with the topic that is conservation of natural resources. Natural resources. Human activities are the biggest threat to natural resources. Their availability is being reduced due to their overuse or misuse. Let us take an example of our natural resource, water. With increasing industrialization and population explosion, the existing water resources are being overused and misused. Water is being polluted and the water sources are being depleted. If this continues, our planet will soon become dry and we will like a... Students, do you know, due to increase in population and due to development of industries more, our natural resources are affected. How they are affected? Let's take one example of water which is in your textbook. What it says, for example, the population varies. So water ki demand bhi sab kuch hi because water is a basic thing. Without water, we are not able to survive. Almost our daily activities are based on the water. If we use, if we overuse, or if we misuse the water, then what happen? What will happen on one day? We will be left with no water. Some industries, wo log kya karte hai? They throw the industrial waste into the rivers and water. That water gets polluted. We are not able to drink that water or we are not able to use that water in our household activities. It is good habit? No. It is bad habit. We should reserve, we should converse our nature. It is our responsibility to save our nature. Concerned. Even air and land resources are being affected. There is only one solution to this problem. Conservation and protection. We must make sincere attempts to conserve and protect our resources so that our future generations are able to use and enjoy these resources as we have done. So what will be there for future generation? It's our responsibility to hand it over the natural resources to the future generation as we have received. It's our responsibility. It just say how many natural resources we have, we natural resources for my future generation. So it's our duty to protect our resources. The responsibility of taking care of these natural resources lies on our shoulders. As responsible citizens of the earth, we must understand the importance of this task and do the needful. We can do our bit by reducing our trips by cars, encouraging carpooling with friends, walking, taking bus or riding our bicycle instead of driving. Reducing consumption and wastage of electricity and water. Reducing wastage of paper. Recycling old papers and using recycled paper bags. Planting trees whenever and wherever we can. Students, it's our responsibility to protect our 
रिसोर्सेस उसके लिए हम कुछ छोटी छोटी चीजें हमारी लाइफ में चेंज कर सकते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू आर अलोन एंड यू नीड टू गुड नियर बाय शॉप यू कैन यूज साइकिल यू कैन गो बाय वॉकिंग सो इफ यू टेक योर एक्टिव एक्टिव कार दैट विल बी द वेस्ट ऑफ पेट्रोल सो वी नीड टू सेव पेट्रोल For example, if you want to travel to school and buses are coming, you can come in the bus and you can save the petrol. Whenever, wherever you get the opportunity, plant a tree. Make a promise that on every birthday, for example, जैसे मैं करती हूँ, मेरे घर पे अगर किसी भी family member का birthday है, at that day we plant one tree. That's good habit, ना? We get many things from trees. Or one thing you can do. You can buy the notebooks which are recycled. We can reduce the use of plastic. We can make more use of plastic bags. If you want to buy some vegetables and fruits from the market, you are going there. You can carry a cloth bag and you can put the vegetables that will reduce the use of plastic. So finally, students. We covered our chapter number fifth, that is natural resources. Let's have a look on one activity. As you can see, this is a black and blue the correct answer from the text box. आपको यहाँ पे text box दिया है. आपको black and blue करके उस चीज को identify करना है. That this thing is renewable or non-renewable. Let's start. Coal. Coal अगर एक बार खत्म हो गया तो फिर वापस मिलेगा बहुत जल्दी. No. So that will go in non-renewable. Good work. You may be. If your grandfather is expired, you will be coming back. No. Good work. Animals. The new coal or non-renewable? Non-renewable. Good work. Water. अगर एक बार water खत्म हो गया तो क्या हम वापस मिल सकते हैं water? Let's see. Try again. It is renewable. We can reuse that water. For example, अगर कुछ पानी हमने गंदा कर दिया तो हम वो पानी क्या करते हैं? Plants को दे देते हैं. So that is a type of water we use. Good work. Sunlight. Where? Good work. Sunlight is a renewable thing. It is a God gifted, and the sun gives always light. Minerals. Good work. Very good. Fossils. Renewable or non-renewable? Exactly. Non-renewable. Good work. Petroleum products. For example, petrol, diesel, kerosene. If it is finished, will you get it back? या नहीं नॉन रिनेबल गुड वर्क एयर क्या एयर कभी खत्म होगी गुड वर्क नो आयन गुड वर्क आयन को हम कितने टाइम तक हम अर्थ को डिक करके सब चीजें निकाल देते हैं एट वन पॉइंट द अर्थ विल बी नॉट हैविंग एनी ओर गुड वर्क यूरेनियम गुड वर्क so we see that some only three to four and all the things were there. Else, everything was non-renewable. So students, we should save our country. We should grow more and more things. Take care of your health. Bye students. God bless you.